I think it is. Well said, by the way. And I think it is. I mean, and, and if you look at the way <clears throat> this incident or this story has been referred to for years, it was always referred to as like the Lewinsky scandal. You know, it was it was hung on her. It was hung on the woman and never on uh, dirty dog Bill Clinton. Um, I have to are any of you. I mean, Sarah, I have to assume that you have been a public Hillary supporter through the years. I could be wrong. But does this put you in? a? Yeah. I mean, does this put you in a little bit of a uncomfortable situation if you run into Chelsea at the polo bar? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to lie. I have thought about it and I do, you know, follow Hillary Clinton on, on Instagram. And there have been moments where people have told me about things I've been in that she was at something and said something nice. And I was like, she probably doesn't like me so much. No more. But um, I don't know if that's true. But, uh, you know, uh, while we were filming and certainly subsequently, even now, if I see something that she tweets and I sometimes want to like it and then i'm like oh i don't know that you should get in this uh i don't right. know that you should get. so i definitely if i saw her i've never met the woman if i you know i did vote for her so um you know i do it it makes it get, i would say like maybe a little wrinkle a little wrinkle right. of just my own discomfort not because i mean i have I an mean, actress playing a part it's not you know right. it's not like i'm sanctioning something or not you know this is i my mean job. that being I, said you know the clintons are major theater goers i wonder if they're gonna see funny girl um they probably will and i have to tell you right <laughs> after they announced that we were doing this i sat in front of them at the theater and got a weird selfie of them behind me because no you I, didn't yes Anna Lee. i went like this and, and at what like show Hillary, I saw Bella Bella, which was Harvey Firestein's amazing oh. um, show that was about Bella Abzug, which was beautiful. Anyway, yes. I sat behind, I, they were right behind me. And oh I had a friend with God. me who was like, you have to like take a picture. Like this is too much. So there's a picture and I'm in the corner like this going, and they're right here. And Hillary like totally looked at the camera. Anyways, I, I'm <laughs> hoping that I will sit in front of them on the opening night of Funny Girl and do the yes. same where it's healthy. Well, by yeah. the way, so speaking of funny girl, I mean, Beanie, are you, I saw you in Hello, Dolly. You were so wonderful. So wonderful. Are, I mean, that you are funny girl. This is so major. This is such a big deal. No uh, crash, Bean. No yeah, crash. No it's fresh. pretty great. Do no not crash. worry. Do, yeah. you sing, do you sing I'm the greatest star in the shower every morning? I hope you do. <laughs> the woman calls me crying with nerves every single day. I know. Are you, are you, how are you psyching yourself up for this? Or do you feel like you were born for it? Well, I certainly feel like it was my, my earliest dream. I, I truly can say like, it has been my dream my entire life. Like from the moment I understood how to dream for something, it was this, uh -huh. it was this. And that is insane who gets to say that who gets to say that they well, got I what mean, they wished for you know it's right. such an insane opportunity and i think you know i don't know i just i have so many friends that are so talented and so many people that i know that are so talented and they never get the opportunity to do what they love like we all do and so i never want to take a day for granted but but specifically with funny girl like there's just not a moment that i don't want to um I don't want to miss a moment. I don't want to take for granted a moment. I just, I just want to give it all my all and um, focus on playing Fanny because that's my job. I think, yeah. um, you know, she was a real person and had, uh, you know, a tremendous life and tremendous career. And my job is to just kind of close the Monica book and open the Fanny book. <laughs> that's wow. kind of I mean, Shell started trending on Twitter because everyone knew that she wanted the part. Have you like, has there been any correspondence between you guys yet? There will be at some point. I didn't know that any of this was happening, by the way. And, and, and all of a sudden people started explaining it to me. And I was like, wait, what? I don't I don't even under like, I don't follow any. I don't understand. I didn't understand. But um, she very sweetly wrote on my uh Instagram. I don't know the woman whatsoever. Oh, that's nice. Oh, good. Well, I love this. That's a good, that's a happy story that she wrote on your Instagram. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, yeah. 
Yeah. Twitter, uh, you, you think Twitter is its own real world. <laughs> oh, well, Twitter is a nasty cesspool. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, you know, inevitably people are going to wonder if Streisand is going to come see you. I mean, that's un, that's insane pressure. Annalie is like quaking in her seat here <laughs> thinking about it. Is that something that's in the back of your mind? Like, wh- let me ask you this. If Streisand comes to Funny Girl, will you want to know in advance that she is there, like before you step on stage, or what if you see her in the audience? Take talk to me about that. No, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know if the three of you were there. Like, like, you know when I'm going to be there. So I mean, I'll know when really Sarah's me. there because I'll hear like a specific pulse and like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're just basically we finish each other's each other's sentences. We all know when you're fucking there, but like I, I when when people are there, I I mean, even when I, when I remember my high school drama teacher came to see Hello Dolly, I was shaking. Like I, I oh, don't that's sweet. When anyone's there, I don't want to know when anyone's there. So certainly not the queen herself. You know, that's like you know, no. Um, I think I'll, right. I just I just have to approach every show the same. I mean. Annalie and Sarah can speak more of this than I can. They've, you know, done so much theater, but no, Annalie can. I haven't been on stage in ten years, so yeah, Annalie can say that. And Annalie's like a Broadway literal superstar. That's Um, right. That's right. No, I'm not. But when they when she does come, can I sit in front? (laughs) Yes, and get and get a selfie. Um, That's really the goal. (laughs) <laughs> I want to know from the sublime to the ridiculous. I want to know because it is Beverly Hills reunion day. I want to know from Anna Lee and Sarah Paulson. What do you, what is one question you want answered by Erica Jane that you don't think has been answered? Um, yeah. Oh if either of you can think of anything, is there anything you can think of that you want to make sure gets asked? Not that I can change it now, but I just want to make well, sure. Well, that's I asked. the thing because I've watched the trailer like sixteen times with the, and I, the part that is the most exciting is when you when we when you say the fire is about to be turned up, and yeah. and 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 I don't know if it's been edited in a way where she's like, I, yeah, um. Uh, and I was like, Ooh! it just, it just, I just, all I can say is I've never been more excited for anything that you're giving us four, one, two, three, four <laughs> episodes. I can't, yes. and I keep thinking, I know how long these reunion days are. So that means a lot of hours are actually making it to air. Whereas True. normally, you know, yes. you probably have a lot of, you know, dead stuff that's not going to be shown. So I just get <laughs> very excited. I don't know about you, Emily, yeah. but I, I have a feeling because I know you, Andy, that you're going to you're going to ask some probing questions. Is what oh, it's all ask. there. Yeah, it's all there. I sometimes yeah. wonder I'm cannot wait. I cannot even my husband has a, a snack plan for us. <laughs> what is um, the snack plan? Can't wait. I don't know what it is. He was like, oh, I got wow, something great. special tonight for the housewife wow. reunion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he's, uh, so that's happening. I am constantly sort of concerned about her glam budget because you would think I that asked there about would the be... glam. I asked okay, who's paying great. for the glam. Yes. Thank yes, you. I did. Because it okay, has good. not gone down. You know, a sensible sweatsuit right. that costs a thousand dollars doesn't mean that you're a glam budget. It does right. seem like there's a different set of people doing the glam. Does it not? Possibly, or did they at least on the show? Well, it also seems like the results are a little different. I agree. Yes, I agree. Leslie Grossman and I, Leslie Grossman and I, have been texting each other pictures from past reunions to pictures of this and being like, "What's going on with the hair makeup?" Someone (laughs) did an interesting side by side that I saw this morning on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I'm just curious about it. It's not that one is not good and one. It's just there's a there's just a subtle difference, and I want to know. And on camera, I've, there, it's people I hadn't seen before. By the way, this is right. coming from the woman who once didn't know that I was wearing my Monica wig. So she's oh. like, not perceptive at all when it comes to like people. <laughs> she's like, did you do something different to your hair? I was like, I'm not wearing my wig. She was and like, I just, for the record, say that the reason is because she was in full costume. No, she was in her own clothing. Her own clothing from the neck down, and then this hairdo that was not her traditional Monica, but it was post the haircut. And I was like, and you had cut your hair in real life, and something about it was just complicated for me. Also, but- that that means it's a good wig. Correct. <laughs> Is there any Sarah? Do you have any sense of what the next American Crime Story will be? 
I not Tom Girardi. No. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know. I heard rumor of something that I don't think I'm allowed to say, uh, and I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it's real because I don't. Mm, I don't know that that isn't something that hasn't been touched on in a funny way already. So I don't. This know. is my favorite. Um, this is my favorite uh, franchise of Ryan Murphy's. I love. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I love this because I find that his his take. Uh, um, and his way into these stories is is something unexpected and and exciting. And the three of you are so so great. How many more episodes? And and I'm talking to you, and I'm realizing that I'm one behind. But how many more episodes do we have um, left in the run? Is it four more? There are ten in total. Ten total. Ten in total. Okay. Very okay. Yep. That's good. Okay, that ten helps total. me. Um, and Sarah, what is what is next for you? Annalie is on set of her hit CBS show right now, right? Yes, we're. I'm getting ready to go put on a wig to do be positive. Okay, to do good. be positive. I like be positive. Be positive. Good, you're a folksy lady. <laughs> yes, a folksy lady with a good wig. With a good okay. wig. Uh, I don't. I honestly don't know. This is the first time in in about six years where I don't know what I'm going to do. Wow. I said no to this a couple is a of headline. things. Yeah, I said no to a couple things that would be happening right now. Uh, I have committed to doing a play uh, in New York uh, on Broadway, but that has not been announced. And I don't think it will be for a year. So wow. I've got a little bit of a playing uh, playing time to figure out what I want to. I mean, I don't even honest. This is a real embarrassing thing to, to reveal. And it's, it's embarrassing because it means I've had a working life that has been exciting for a while, which I didn't used to have. But I don't even know what my hobbies are. Andy, I don't know what I like to do in my free time. Housewives, I don't, housewives, I don't know. housewives, and a snap and a bath. I mean, those are great okay. things, but I don't know. So this is an interesting time for me to sort of see right. what you know. I oh, I should mention I'm a huge uh, Richard Linklater fan, and Beanie is in Merrily We Roll Along with her bestie Ben Platt, and you are you are filming this film. You know, Richard Linklater did uh, Boyhood, which he shot over like 12 years. Y- you two are shooting this over 20 years of time. Yeah. This is, in- and have you started so Marilee is the story of a friendship told in reverse. So it, it ends the beginning and it, and it, did I just say that right? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 yes. no, wait. The end. It starts right. at the end. Right, and right. The beginning. And so on Broadway, it was like famously um, sometimes like big flop because they cast very young people. But at a certain point, either it's young people playing older, older people playing young. And it's one of my favorite Sondheim scores of all time. Some of the music is hauntingly beautiful and and specific and just exceptional and so rick had the idea to just say why don't we just wait for people to age and watch people in, in reverse like de-age so um the last thing we shoot in 20 years will be the first scene of the film and oh my god uh, yeah i we haven't really That's fully gotten so into cool. it yet but, um ben and i used to sing that those songs in the car together going to high school. So it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And it's what high school did you go to? The so cool high school, all the cool kids went no, to. Yeah. went to Harvard Westlake, which like anyone that grew up in LA is like, ugh, yawn. But I really loved it. <laughs> I don't think it's <laughs> yawn. There's that weird house that's kind of abandoned across the street that all the windows are shut. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh. On the corner? It looks kind of like a weird castle anyway i digress uh you guys i'm by the way i'm so excited about that and uh i love watching the three of you i would see you all in anything um, but but specifically i'm loving impeachment american crime story it airs tuesdays at 10 eastern and pacific only on fx uh beanie sarah and annalee thanks for hanging out with me and i hope to see each of you very soon we will be right back Next. 